These are the actual sizes. What you see is what you get. Trying to bring back what my memory was of the late 50s, early 60s of the one I grew up in. This is one of our triple decker sandwiches. This is called the Franklin Avenue. It's corned beef, Swiss cheese, pastrami, coleslaw, and Russian dressing. Everything here is steamed out. You cannot get a cold corned beef sandwich here. And this is house cured. Everything here is large. We do big portions. There's no little food here. You gotta be ready to eat. That's why I go through so many takeout containers. This is the apple turnover, which at this store, has become very popular very quickly. The food comes over to the table and people are like, wow, look at that. We do a lot of matzo balls here. There aren't a lot of people left that do what we do. People would say the Jewish deli is dead, but I keep building stores and doing business. I think that if your food isn't good, maybe that it's dead. Come on over to Raiden's, you'll enjoy the food. Hope to see you soon. We're in Cherry Hill and I wanted to not retire, but make my life a little easier. This is the challah French toast, which is not your typical French toast. I and mean, we make the challah here. It's actually deep fried. And that's one order. You get six pieces in an order. I grew up in the store. The Raiden stores started. My grandfather had five brothers, and they were all in the business. The first store in the early 1900s was actually in Manhattan. This is probably overall one of the more popular sandwiches, the corned beef special. Everybody in the Philly, South Jersey area likes their coleslaw and Russian dressing on everything. Corned beef is our number one volume item. A couple pickles on the plate and then people get a side dish with it. The most popular side dish is the potato pancakes. I was at famous 4th Street for 19 years. A lot of the politicians would come there. On election day, they'd all have lunch. That was like a famous 4th Street tradition. We met a lot of people over the years. President Obama's been there. Governors have been there. Al Gore, when he was vice president, was there. It was a pretty neat thing. I sold Famous. I wanted to put a store together that had a very different look than Famous. I didn't want to build a store of my memory of one of the last Raiden stores in Brooklyn that my family had. This is a Novi whitefish salad combination platter. So it's a smoked salmon, the whitefish salad. I tried to keep it very traditional to the Jewish style delicatessen. Corned beef, pastrami, brisket, smoked fish. I say, well, it's a corned beef and pastrami store. That's kind of how I would portray what I do. For me, it's very personal because people would say, well, what is Raiden's? I said, well, it doesn't mean anything to anybody except me. That was my family's history, and I had a lot of this memorabilia to go along with it. Listen, it could have been called anything. As long as the food was good, you know, people, people would come. Yeah, I'm still in it. I'm overseeing the food. I'm making sure that it's right. If you don't watch your business, you don't have a business.